on in. It's been a while. So today I've got a ham and cheese sandwich. Got some carrots. I already ate my my yogurt. Um, I got an apple. I might eat that later. No drink. I, I need to get some water, but I'll do that after you leave. Okay, so 2016 stronghold. I love it. It's complex. That is the key word. I think it's complex and it's a challenge. There's a lot for teams with high resources and a lot of availability and um, ability to make neat robots to do a lot of things, but there's also a lot for a team with, with a really strong drive base, a really simple robot that maybe does one or two things. They can really impact this game also. I think it's definitely an alliance game. I'm excited to see um, matches, even though we're a couple months away from that. I usually try to reserve my judgment until I start seeing matches in February and March, but I really like this game. I like the theme of the game. I like how it looks. I like the presentation of the game. I think it's fabulous. So hats off to First Game Design Committee for making us in the community a great game. Just today we had a nice gift. Sometimes people send me things for lunch with Andy. These are Turkish delights. There's a lot of first teams in Turkey. A young woman who was an intern here at Andy Mark. She was from Tetnocast, Glenda Hernandez sent us this nice note. Hello everyone at Andy Mark. I know it's build season. It is a very stressful time for everyone. But feel free to enjoy some Turkish delight. Hope you all had a nice holiday season. Thanks, Glenda. She brings up a point that I want to talk about. So stress. This is obviously stressful for all the teams. It's stressful for the suppliers because we have a short amount of time to build robots. So people are kind of stressing out about some of our parts. One of the hot parts is 8-inch pneumatic tires and pneumatic wheels. So we have these. This is a hot item for going over the defenses. We have a lot in stock. We've sold a lot. We're getting more in stock. I think our next shipment is coming in in about 10 days, 8 days. We are allowing those to be continued to be ordered, but you might not get the shipment right away. So make sure you watch the web page, and there's a red availability note here. Check that out. That might change every day. It won't do us good or do much good for you if you call us every day. Sometimes this changes. Watch this. Also, if you want these and the, if something is out of stock and you want to get it ordered, there's, if it's out of stock, you can click on, there's usually a, an area over here where it says email me when available. So click on that if any product is not available and not able to be ordered. We usually try to do not let those things be ordered if we don't have them here in stock. After these run out, probably later today, these are going to be an exception because they're going to be available. We know the shipment is coming within about 10 days, 8 days, something like that. Another thing that's a hot thing is tread. The Rhino tank drive design and assembly the module is a hot topic for getting over those defenses. So we have these things in stock. We're getting more. We actually, we're making side plates. The thing that we're, we're getting made in batches are these plates that go on the modules. Between these being made and these coming in in batches, we're not shipping these things out right away when we get the order. If you've already placed an order and you have an order early on, you probably will get that order shipped out this week. We're dealing with a lot of orders, but we're working through those things and we appreciate those orders. Another thing that people were asking about was the PTO gearbox called the Rocket Box. It's a new gearbox. Maybe through this segment, Brett can speed up the... But we do have this PTO power takeoff Rocket Box. We do have the, um, the download for the CAD and the layout now on the, on, the, on the website. Some people were asking me that over the weekend. Is the CAD available? It is now. As far as availability, I'm not sure today when, when that's going to be back available. It's a new product. We're getting a lot of the pieces made and probably within a week it'll be available. We'll post that availability as soon as we can. But tentatively, I would say within a week, we'll have the Rocket Box available. There's eight Robot in Three Days teams working right now on their custom designed robot for this game. So go over to the Robot in Three Days webpage and you can check out the Twitter feed. You can check out the live stream on YouTube for, from a few of the teams. There's a team in Indiana here that are building in our North Warehouse. There's a Canadian team, a tech, Texas team, Florida team. There's teams all over the place. Um, Robot in Three Days guys, fun. I've seen some videos. They're having a lot of fun doing this. Ask them questions through Twitter or through an email maybe or through the YouTube feedback and I'm sure they'd love to, to answer that. I think things are ending tomorrow around noon, on Tuesday around noon. Is that, is that right? Yeah, Tuesday around noon. Check them out. I'm sure that you're going to get a lot of ideas from Robot in Three Days. They're prototyping things like crazy, and they've already figured out a few things. Like I heard the Indiana team here has figured out some, some compression issues with the ball. Head over there to check out what they can tell you about that. If you have any questions, you can give us feedback in the YouTube comments, or you can tweet at us with questions and such. 
Let us know what you think, and um, we're going to do this during the build season for FIRST Robotics. We'll do it Monday, Wednesday, Friday. So I will see you next on Wednesday. Thank you. Have a good day.